Hey guys, welcome on the show today. My name is Topsy Gift. I am the author of the book titled, I am a woman, I am a human. In our program today, we're gonna to be having an exclusive interview with no other person than Dr. Clement. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned. My name is Clement Ogedebe. I am a medical doctor, a teacher, a writer, an author, a priest, and a motivational speaker. I currently reside in Ukraine and I am married to a beautiful wife, Topsy Gift, and we are blessed with two handsome guys. Jackson and Nathan. I have been married for four years. I got married to my beautiful wife in the year 2017. We had a wedding ceremony in August, on the 12th of August. And since then, it's been a beautiful um, relationship and uh, marriage experience. Now, I think that marriage is one of the most uh, pleasurable experience that anybody would experience in life. I'm saying this because for me, marriage has been a beautiful experience for me. It has um, first of all made me to express my love in full you know uh, to someone else and in this case my wife and marriage has taught me a lot of things amongst which are responsibility so marriage has taught me responsibility marriage has taught me how to care for someone else and marriage has also taught me you know um how to love and how to express that love in whatever way that i can although marriage is uh, a beautiful thing a pleasurable experience i would also like to say that marriage has its own challenges also and what that means is that sometimes you would have disagreements with your spouse i mean it's just natural for that to happen because we are two human beings from different experiences different backgrounds different personality and so it is only natural that sometimes we have misunderstanding but then uh, what happens you know or how you respond to that misunderstanding is what is important so yes i have had uh, misunderstandings in my marriage but we've been able to, you know, work them out uh, amicably. Now, what do I think about women? As a married man, I think that uh, women need to be respected. Women need to be treated as equal partners. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen in most marriages and in our society. And as a result, women are speaking up and trying to fight for their rights. And that gave birth to the feminist movement. And so almost all over the world, you would see people, uh, women in particular, having protests, having debates, you know, talking about how that men do not respect women and how women are being treated as inferior humans. So do I believe in feminism? I think that I do believe in feminism because I understand that feminism is actually women trying to fight for their rights and trying to tell the men that they are human beings too and that they are not inferior, you know, to... Uh, to the opposite sex. Even though uh, my wife is a feminist, 
and a strong one, a conch one for that matter, I think that that fact that my wife is a feminism, is a feminist, I should say, has somehow brought some level of uh, positive influence on my marriage. Why did I say that? Because my wife, out of her feminist ideology, wrote a book that is titled, I am a woman, I am a human. And when I read that book, I began to understand more deeply what women really want, how women want to be treated, how women want to be respected, and how women want to be seen as, you know, co-laborers or partners with their husbands. And as a result, I was able to imbibe some of those lessons that I learned from her book. And now I think I do not see my wife as a lesser human than I am because we are actually um, equal. Marriage, uh, to some extent, like I said at the beginning, has a way of bringing out a better version of you or making you a better person. Because before you get married, you are a single person. You have just your own experiences. But when you eventually get married to someone else, especially if you marry if you are married to the woman of your dream the person that was specifically i would say created for you you get to learn from that person and that makes you a better version of yourself so if i compare my life or myself my personality to that of my father or my grandparents i would say that i am a better version of myself and of my predecessors. Why? Because we are living in the age of information and in the age of, um, you know, knowledge and digital, you know, uh, technology. So it is easier for us to learn about how to be a good man, how to be a good husband, how to be a good father. Our predecessors perhaps didn't have that opportunity to learn that much. And so they only just acted based on the little that they know. But today, you know, apart from learning from your wife, get, having that experience, you also get to learn, you know, from there are a lot of um, you have YouTube, you have a lot of books that are written, you know, on how to become a good father, be a good husband. So I would say that I am a better version of my predecessors or my, my father or my lineage. Now. I said earlier that I married an angel, a beautiful woman, not just uh, beautiful on the outside, but beautiful inside also. So my wife is a complete package of what you would call a wife. And so if I have the opportunity, you know, to choose again, you know, I would still choose my beautiful wife again because I feel like she was specially created for me. You know, I used, to, I used to tell my friends that God blessed me with a wife. Before I got married, I was of this opinion that, you know, uh, God doesn't give wife to people. You just have to go search for your wife by yourself because the Bible said he that findeth a wife. So you have to go do the finding and God is not the one that gives wives. But when I met my wife and we got married and I, I, I just saw how beautiful she is you know, her personality, her character and everything, I said to myself, it couldn't have been me, you know, who found this one. I think it was God who found this one for me. So I, I see myself as a blessed man because I have my wife and I would, you know, marry her again and again if I have the opportunity to. Well, um, my wife has completely changed my mentality you know there were things i believed before i thought were right to do but after i got married to my wife i realized that you know i was uh, in the wrong you know i was making a mistake and the truth of the matter is if you marry a good woman most of the things that you would do that you thought were right but are actually wrong, she would draw your attention to those things and she would correct those things. So if you are a teachable man, 
you would learn from your wife. But if you are a very proud person, you would end up arguing, you know, with her and trying to prove that you're right. But my wife has influenced me in many ways that I cannot even begin to mention. So I'm blessed, like I said, to have her as my wife. You know, in most families, um, they have what we call gender roles, where people believe that a woman should do certain things and a man should do certain things. For example, coming from Africa, what we saw growing up is that women are, you know, confined to the kitchen. So they have to do the cooking, you know, and the cleaning. They have to do uh, the washing of the, the plates. And then they have to, you know, change diapers while the man just goes to work and then comes back, sits before the television and uh, watches football match or watches the news while he waits for the woman to, you know, bring food for him to eat. So that is the culture where we are coming from. But like I said, as a better version, as someone who is knowledgeable, I do not think that... Um, it is a woman's duty to be in the kitchen. The woman is not a slave. She's not um, your house girl. So I do not see such duties as cooking, cleaning, you know, changing diapers, washing the bathroom, you know, sweeping the house as a woman's duty. I think that it is everybody's duty. So it means that both the husband and the wife have to work together to take care of the house. If we go back to the story of creation, when God made Adam and Eve, it was Adam that was asked, you know, to tend the garden and to take care of the garden. The woman was made as a help meet. So the woman is supposed to help. Unfortunately, um, our culture has reversed the order. Now, what happens is that women are made to do the bulk of the work while men are so are helping and even in most cases the men are not even helping their wife have to complain you know again and again before they lift a finger to do something but the truth is um, if we are going to have a peaceful house a peaceful home we must work together as partners to do the the chores that need to be done now for example i cannot breastfeed a child right because i do not have mammary glands that produces milk so definitely that would be a woman's duty to breastfeed the child you know so things like that are they are not arguable we cannot say that okay a man will have to breastfeed but if the baby is taking um, a formula for example why not the man can make the milk and, and feed the child you know um anytime he wants so i don't think that um, that should be a problem now, for men that are yet to get married, I want you to know that marriage is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. But at the same time, you need to know that marriage has its challenges also. It has its ups and downs. Because, uh, like I said earlier, you're going to be getting married to someone who is coming from a completely different background from yours. And so there's going to be some misunderstanding. But what I do believe is that if there is true love, if you truly love that woman, you would do everything possible to make your marriage work. If you look at the news, what is happening today, you hear stories of marriages that are, you know, breaking, you know, divorces are happening every now and again. It has become a trend, you know, when you just go to the news, you'll hear about, you know, this person is um, having a divorce with this person. And this is not only happening among celebrities, it is happening among pastors, it's happening among bankers, it's happening, you know, in every sphere of life, we are having people that are working out of their marriages. Now, what does that mean? Does it mean that um, marriage is not a beautiful thing? Not at all. Marriage is a beautiful thing. It is only that we do not completely understand what marriage is before we go into it. So if you are a young man out there who is not married, I want you to think twice, study, research, learn about what marriage is before you go into it. Because you're going to be spending the rest of your life with this person. So you have to be sure that you love this person you know, enough to 
let go of all her shortcomings and her weaknesses, you know, that you love this person enough to forgive when the person does something wrong, that you love this person enough to care for that person and to help the person, you know, when she is in need. Now, we'll, if you do all of these, would that mean that your marriage will be a perfect marriage? Of course, I don't think so, because I do not think that there is any perfect marriage anywhere. But to make your marriage work as a young man who is planning to get married, you must have abundant love in your heart. And to add to that love, you must have what we call understanding. Because love alone doesn't keep your marriage. There are a lot of people who have, um, you know, worked out of their marriages. And if you ask them, do you love this person? They will say, oh, I love them so much. Okay, if you love them, so why did you go out of your marriage? So that is to tell you that love alone is not enough to make a marriage work. Understanding is needed to make a marriage love, uh, to make a marriage work. Why? Because it takes understanding to build a house. And it takes wisdom to furnish its chamber. So if you want to build your marriage, you want to build your house, you need understanding and you need love and you need wisdom to do that. Now, my final word, I would love to say that we are created to be loved and we are created to love. We are human beings who crave relationship, who crave appraisal, who crave love, who crave companionship. And so you will definitely find someone that would give you that love, that companionship, and you know, that craving that you have. But when you find that person, make sure that you also are ready to give all of that companionship and that love and that care that you also desire. So whatever you desire that your spouse gives to you, you should be ready to give same to your spouse. And I believe that if you have that love and that understanding, you would be able to have a beautiful home and a beautiful marriage. Thank you for having me. It was my pleasure.